My wristwatch is broken, my shoes are untied, time is a ticking, and so is the tide. But I am not worried, things are what they are. Come rain or come shine or a shooting star. I've been to the south, I've been to the north, east and the west, the middle of course. I may have been astray, but I've never been lost, never been beat by the road I've crossed. I guess I've been lucky. To some degree, are you happy, boy? For someone who ate all the fruit from the tree, stars been aligned and my goose hanging high. I'll be okay in the sweet by and by. I was born at morning. The first day of June, nineteen hundred and something and two. My mom was a sweetheart, my father was too. They left me a watch and an old pair of shoes. I guess I've been lucky to some degree for someone. Been a line and my goose hanging high. I'll be okay in the sweet by and by. I'll be okay in the sweet by and by. Let's load up, boy. Wash the fishing pole. My hands are dirty, he's dirty, but the work doesn't stop. <laughs> Farm helper. So we had a pretty bad storm last night. Looks like there's one tree down. A couple days ago, this had a bunch of peaches on it. You can tell something's just been eating annihilating all the leaves and uh yeah i've seen the bear back here quite a few times um stealing the peaches let me see if he left one they aren't even really ripe yet well here's one it's down on the ground see they're not really even fully ripe yet there's an earwig in there ew yummy but he has just been annihilating this peach tree. Peach seeds all over the ground right here. <laughs> just everywhere. There's another little one. Might take that before he gets it. Maybe see if it'll ripen up in the sun. I ordered a package of ladybugs. 1,500 ladybugs, you guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's nothing like a good old ladybug delivery. Freaking awesome. I have a whole box of these. Funny story, my mom was not very fond of this idea because we had so many ladybugs in the farmhouse last year. Ladybugs are like the perfect crop protector instead of spraying pesticides. This is like an all natural alternative.
All right, guys, hello, and welcome back to the farm. Today is a new day. I have some winter rye right here that I wanna put out on um, maybe just one of my food plots. A lot of the footage, tilling up the land, aerating it, um, putting lime on the ground months ago during the summer, and then putting my seed down. I had a Samsung, and when I switched back to iPhone, I lost a lot of that footage. It didn't rain for like, at least a week and a half, two weeks after that. And I hadn't gotten my watering set up, which is this right here. I'm pretty sure all that footage got deleted too. But yeah, I worked my tail off um, getting these food plots done. It was my first year ever doing it. So anywho, I'm gonna show you guys just quickly a little food plot update, what they're looking like, and spread some of this rye um, on top, just as kind of like a filler because especially that one up there is pretty sparse. All right, you guys, so this whole area right here, this whole top of this ridge was my food plot. And as you guys can see, it's sparsely growing and it just, it's not good. I think all the birds ate it or something. I emptied out my bucket of wheat. Uh, yeah, I'm at the next food plot location. This one is looking a lot better, but it's still not perfect. Um, a lot of green but this is primarily sugar beets so there's a lot of other stuff popping up along with the sugar beets let me show you guys these things are not quite mature yet but i'll tell you what they have some huge roots i just pulled this guy up out of the ground i actually had to like cut him out of the ground because I'll have a shovel. It smells sweet like a beet. Mmm. Sweet by 